Once again, we march into the mouth of hell. I don't know how I come up with these intros. <laughs> I really don't. I just sit down, I hit record on, on everything, and I'm just like... What should, what should I say? <laughs> how do I welcome over 60,000 people? I would honestly love to see a compilation. I can't believe no one's done it yet. I would honestly love to see a compilation of like every intro, every unique intro over the last year. If anyone has that kind of time, I would love to see that. Maybe even upload it to this channel. I think that'd be, that could be quite interesting. So I've made a decision. That's right. I have made a decision while I was actually getting ready for recording these videos because I'm kind of recording late today because I just felt tired all day, but I had a coffee about an hour ago and I'm feeling pretty peppy. And while I was setting everything up for this, this recording session right here, I was thinking, man, I would love to vlog. And that, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Lockdown has been lifted. And I'm double vexed, and I'm allowed to see my friends again, I'm, I'm allowed to go out and go places and do things. And while we were in lockdown, I did buy a pretty decent vlogging setup, so I might do a vlog. Like the old days, because I'm, pr I'm pretty good at vlogging, so I might do a vlog. Show you guys the new house, the new motorcycle, the new studios, that kind of stuff. Also, don't forget Monroe going on tour. Make sure you buy tickets. And I hate that I have to say this, but if you have no intention of going, Please don't buy tickets just to show support. It's not how it works. People need to actually show up to these shows. Also, they're on their way to selling out pretty soon. And I would hate for someone to not be able to go because someone somewhere bought a ticket and it wasn't going to go because they can't go. But please buy tickets. Come to the tour, please. UK tour 2021 this November. So yes, today we are going to react to some alt TikToks. As per usual, if I come across any vanity TikTok, I will be skipping it. I actually came across... <laughs> I actually can't. All right, I came. I'm not gonna say what it was or who it was, but I came across a, a, an alternative, an alt TikTok that was so annoying. <laughs> I've actually been replaying it in my head today while I've been painting in silence. <laughs> and while I was <laughs> while I was painting, I was actually getting mad about how annoying this alt TikTok was. How completely void of any real substance it was. Just how vapid it was. <laughs> of course, because I'm not disclosing what the content was or who the person was, no one's feelings can get hurt, which is great. Without further ado, let's delve in to the alternative TikToks, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shop around today. I'm gonna see what other things I can find, and maybe I won't be so nice, because I've noticed, <laughs> I've noticed whenever I, whenever my cynical side comes out, the videos get more views. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? In a store? Why? Why is this so consistent? Do you know what? Someone actually told me. Someone told me what it was. Someone in the comments. Okay. Now. <laughs> People leave in comments to explain things. You can take this with a pinch of salt because you guys are often wrong. This one, this one commenter, like they said why this is, and it kind of made sense. Stores that are open 24 hours, around 1 to 2 a.m., the stores are usually completely empty. So it's usually a pretty good place to like do a TikTok in public. Makes sense, right? I think we've cracked the code. <laughs> Did not see that coming at all. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Me just minding my business. <sighs> These TikToks, man, that like, there's no dialogue in it. There's no text to speech. And they very, very quickly put this paragraph of text in the last second. So it, you have to, oh, I didn't read it. And that feeling that you have here is called displacement. Happens a lot. Though you look quite young, so I would understand why it's pretty scary feeling. I actually very specifically remember a time that I felt displacement. It was when I was walking around Belfast City and I actually like felt like a, a little bit of a recoil like a, like a surprise, because I was like, oh my god, I don't really feel like I'm here. <laughs> I feel like I'm somewhere, 
I feel like I'm behind the eyes of this body in a couch, just sort of like watching the situation, watching me walk around. I didn't actually feel like it was me. It's such a strange feeling. These songs that y you're using... <sighs> Look, I know a lot of music, a lot of people's uh, thoughts on music, it's, it's, a, it's all opinion, right? Because it's, it's subjective. One person's trash is another person's treasure. But whenever I say that the music that you kids are listening to is actual garbage, I mean that factually. Scientifically supported Garbage. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? People thought I was being serious, and they do. Oh, the angsty indifference. Ah, oh, just going through life, just uh, one party after another. <laughs> this is a sign for you to get tooth gums. I want tooth gums. <laughs> yeah, you really nailed it there, Texas speech. You idiot. I actually want tooth gems now. Tooth gums. Actually, no, screw that. I'm getting my grills. Why haven't I got my grills yet? Oh, that's right, because they're four figures. <laughs> <sighs> Just bite the bullet, Jake. Just bite the bullet. Get them. You know you'll love them. <laughs> Chuggy boots. <laughs> Chuggy boots. <laughs> <laughs> you are ruining my chances of getting a puppy. That is correct, shorty. It's frustrating because people often ask me, Hey, Jake, how did your parents react to you dressing the way that you do? And how did you convince your parents to let you dress the way that you do? My dad didn't care at all. Barely said a word. He just didn't care. Mother was not around. Not entirely true. I did start wearing eyeliner and shaving off my eyebrows as she left, a few years before she left. And again, didn't really care. I remember the first time I came downstairs after putting on eyeliner. No, it was after I shaved half of my eyebrows off. And I came downstairs and my parents were like, Did you shave half your eyebrows off? And I was just like a little bit shy, but that was it. There was a, th Honestly, I got off so lucky. That my parents didn't really care. So I, I honestly, unfortunately, cannot give you any advice. But one piece of advice I can give you is that if you are actually worried about violence or being kicked out of your home and becoming homeless for dressing the way you want because your parents suck, unfortunately, I would recommend that you probably don't until you're able to support yourself independently outside of the home. I'd much rather you guys have a roof over your head than that happening to you. They are in the sea! Why were they in the sea? You old kids choose the strangest places to make these TikToks. Why? Does it drive engagement? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm engaging it, right? I'm perplexed. Why were you knee deep in the sea? Give me a slushie. Can I offer you today? And can I also have a small blue, ra blue raspberry slushie? Mommy milkers? Why have I seen this phrase? <laughs> ah, the zeitgeist of lexicon. Interesting how it changes, isn't it? English colloquialisms are an enigma. was a wild ride. What a weird way to tell the story of your- <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> That's the- <laughs> Oh, when Gen Z's become parents, that is how they are going to tell the story of how they met to their kids.
<laughs> no more coherent romantic stories told wistfully where they they sort of finish each other's sentences and stare lovingly into each other's eyes and where they, where they like, you know, lovingly tell the story of how they met. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just gonna do that. They're just gonna show their kid that, like a video like that, just sound effects and po and awkward poses. <laughs> oh, Gen Zs are gonna be the worst parents. Oh, imagine the kids of Gen Z parents. Oh, we are not prepared. They are gonna rebel so hard. We're gonna be killed. Sam, I actually hate my smile. I hate it so much. <sighs> so real. Okay, but the thing is, is that your smile is actually nice, and mine makes me look like a potato head. So, shut up! I'm, I'm kidding, everyone's personal issues and suffering is valid. Including mine! All I could focus on was the shadow of the hedgehog bag in the background. <laughs> Is that what that is? Is it a bag or something? I think it's just a plush. <laughs> you know you're an edgy kid when you have a Shadow the Hedgehog plush doll. <laughs> well, who are you? I'm you, Sonic. But I've got a Glock. That's a little dark for our universe. What's your name, dude? Shadow. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Two things. What a weird way to lament that all of your chairs are gone. <laughs> Just... <sighs> they took all the... <sighs> Pass me the phone. Give me my phone. <sighs> Get your emotions out, kids, any way you can. Also, I'd just like to bring attention to the fact while that while they are feeling themselves at work... <laughs> we have co-worker. Standing right next to them! Oh! The awkwardness. <laughs> just the co-worker standing next to them, just like... The manager coming in and be like, what's... What's wrong with here? Took a lot of chairs. Trying the photo animation filter on pics of my grandma. Oh, this is some weird shit. I've seen this. What is this magic? The last one broke the oh. wall. Oh god, that's it. The mogul world no longer exists. At some point we we merged into the wizarding world. This is some mad shit. I'm not even a big MCR fan. I'm actually a big fan of good songwriting. And a lot of that album had good songwriting on it. See, that's the thing. Out of all the emo bands, the reason why MCR floated to the top was because they actually wrote decent songs. They were non-conformists in a sea of conforming non-conformity. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in and watching this existential nightmare of a video. Don't forget, Monroe going on tour. Link down below. Get your tickets. I had a great day today because I made it a great day and I'll see all of you in the next video. Right? Bye, everyone.